Hi, this is Gene Montristelli, the editor at TappingQ&A.com, and I had a really interesting experience this weekend. Um, as some of you know, I am a performer, and there's a story that myself and a buddy of mine do on stage, which we've probably done about 5,000 times in the last 15 years. Uh, it's a signature piece for us, and there's a moment in the story in which the guy I'm on stage with turns to me and he goes, Arrivederci! And it was really interesting last night when we were performing this, as I did that, there was this little bitty pain in my side, like a little needle that just stuck me. And it struck me as odd. And so as I was driving home afterwards and I was reflecting on it, I realized what was going on. That particular gesture was reminding me of something else. Back in December, I was having a conversation with a friend and she was frustrated with me and frustrated with the conversation. And I didn't realize how frustrated she was. And I told her that I was leaving and she went, see you later, in this very, very dismissive way. Well, once I saw that happened, I realized where she was. I sat down, we had a conversation for 45 minutes. We worked everything out. But what was really interesting is that when I saw someone else do the same gesture, it brought it back again. Even though the situation was completely resolved in the moment, the feeling that I got when she had done that came back again when I saw my friend do it. And that's a really common thing. We'll have an experience with one thing and it'll remind us of something else. And so I just wanted to show you what it's like to be able to take a moment like that and just to tap with it. So this is the way I would approach something like that. And bear in mind, I haven't done any tapping on this one since realizing it. And I just thought this would be a good chance to just kind of demonstrate what to do. And I always like to just tap inside of my hand, take a nice few deep breaths just to get myself centered. And to start with, what I'm doing is I'm just thinking about seeing my friend back in December do this to me. And as I tune into that, the first thing I notice is the sense of surprise. I notice how unaware I was about where she was emotionally and how taken aback I was to that. And there's a part of me that's disappointed in the fact that I was that unaware because it was a serious conversation and I had just completely missed the cues because I was caught in my own stuff. There are times when I'm having a conversation with someone else that I get so wrapped up in my own experience of it that I miss what the other person's thinking. I miss what they're going through. And I miss what they're trying to communicate. And when something unexpected shows up, it catches me off guard. It makes me feel inadequate because I couldn't see what was going on. And it makes me feel a little sad that I'm so wrapped up in my own experience that I miss what other people are going through. Not that their emotions are my responsibility. Not that I'm supposed to be taking care of them. but I really need to be aware of what they're experiencing to make it easier for me to be a good friend, to be able to have good constructive conversation. And so now what I do is I just take that moment again and I replay my friend just kind of going like that to me. And I get a sense of sadness Because her dismissing me in that fashion made her believe that I wasn't caring and she was just saying, ah, get out of here. Under the nose. And it also hurts. Because I feel like I was being judged. That I was being judged that I wasn't caring as much as she did about the conversation.
that I wasn't fully present engaged. That she thought that I was so wrapped up in my own stuff that I didn't care. It's really, really hard when it's very obvious that other people don't think I care. Don't think I'm present. Don't think I want what's best for them. But they miss the fact that I do care. My problems usually I care too much. And it's a really hard thing to see someone and act in that way. And I recognize the fact that she was working out of her own frustration. That she didn't feel like her needs were being met. That she, she didn't feel like that she was having the opportunity to get what she needed. And it wasn't personal. And it wasn't judging. Even though it felt really personal and judging. And she might have even felt judging in the moment. But the underlying issue was her hurt and frustration. And she was lashing out at me. And I need to recognize that that frustration was momentary. We had a great conversation after that moment when we both got to be heard, when we both got to understand each other. It was a momentary blip. It wasn't a true judgment of my value. It wasn't a true judgment of my character. It was a momentary frustration that needed to be heard. And once it was, we both saw it for what it really was. <sighs> and so now as I think back to that moment, there's not the sting to it anymore. Um, yeah, and it's really that simple. Just going back to what was experienced, replaying it in your mind, and just talking about what you feel and going at it from both sides. Um, I hope you find that useful. Uh, I really encourage you to check out, just poke around the site. We have over 500 free, free, free resources, videos, audios, all sorts of stuff. Um, also, if you'd like to experience tapping like this, where we go after really personal issues in a really regular way, I'd really encourage you to check out myeftyear.com. In addition to three or four regular weekly tapping audios that you get that are around new stuff, um, calls that we get to tap on your issues like this, more videos just like this are going to show up where I just take things that I'm going through and I'm going to tap with you just so you can see how you can do it. G. Montrestella here for Tapping Q&A. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed that instructional video. If you'd like to receive an update every single time we add a new video, all you need to do is click on the subscribe link right up there. If you'd like to learn something more right now, just click on the video right over there. And if you'd like to see how you can use tapping right now to stop self-sabotage, download our free 10-part quick start guide by simply going to the link right down there. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.